If you're out there and you think that you want to participate in this because you think it's funny, think again. First at five, police catch a suspect linked to a clown threat against students at a local high school. A student at Aikens High School in South Austin surrendered to police today. Investigators say he threatened to commit violence via a fake clown account on social media. KXAN's Alicia Enns is live at Aikens High School with more on what this student posted to get him into so much trouble. Alicia? Hey, good evening, Robert. Yeah, and this is one of those situations where Austin ISD police say they're taking these threats very seriously. It's caused a lot of concern for not only the students, but the parents involved in this as well. And while some people might look at it as a joke, something silly, well, it's obviously causing a lot of concern and people are taking this very seriously. But let's talk about this specific student and this specific case, because today we learned the student involved has been identified as 17-year-old Noah Hollingsworth. He's been charged with making a terroristic threat. As police say, he posted social media comments with the intent to incite fear in people here at the high school. Now, Austin ISD police investigators say Hollingsworth created a Twitter account under the name Aaron Jackson with the handle at Arnie the Clown. Now, the first tweet posted yesterday at 1021 a.m. and it said, quote, I am back, Akins, get ready, followed by a knife emoji. The next post came 25 minutes later and stated, quote, I see a lot of victims, quote, with two knife emojis. Several posts later, at Artie the Clown posted a picture from inside the high school. It showed the placard for room 271, followed by another picture of the green hall and another one from inside the library. Now, last night, Hollingsworth admitted to police that he created the account and he posted those tweets. That Twitter account, by the way, has since been taken down. I talked with AISD Police Chief Eric Mendes as earlier this afternoon, he definitely has a message for anyone who's thinking of becoming a copycat. If you're out there and you think that you want to participate in this because you think it's funny, think again. Because if it was your child attending a school and your child felt threatened because of these posts, how would you feel? And so we want to make sure that the word gets out to individuals across the city. Please use caution. Now, the chief told me that Hollingsworth actually turned himself in a self-surrender, as they call it, just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Again, he's being charged with making a terroristic threat. Police also telling me that they have not actually had any reports or actual sightings of anyone dressed up as a clown, but they are taking these threats online on social media very seriously. In fact, the chief telling me he has dedicated all of his resources to covering this and making sure that these threats, whether or not they're real or not, he wants to make sure that people stay safe. We actually talked with some parents out here at the high school. School was letting out just a few moments ago. Hear from them coming up all new at 6. For Naira live in South Austin, Alicia Inns, KXAN News. There have been hundreds of threats all across the country related to people dressing in clown costumes. And this afternoon, leaders at Rouse High School in Leander informed parents about a threat to their campus. The school is taking additional security measures while they investigate. On Monday, Maynard police investigated a report of a man in a truck wearing a clown mask and talking with a student. They got another call about a clown this week, but both times officers found nothing. Maynard ISD sent out a note to parents saying the district is taking additional precautions during pickup and drop-off hours. Police at Texas State University are investigating a report of an attack by a man in a clown costume. Investigators say it happened Monday night at the Bobcat Village Apartments on Aquarina Springs Drive. San Marcos police say the man grabbed a woman when she walked out of a building. She was able to get away and was not injured. 